Romans chapter 8, uh, verses uh, 8 to 16. So then they that are in the, the flesh cannot please God, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. It, uh, if so, be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirits do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirits of adoption, whereby we cry above Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirits that we are the children of God. So we will talk about uh, the issue about lead by the Spirit. Lead by the Spirit. So, pag-uusapan natin ang uh, kung sino ang uh, ang ginabayan ng ating banal na Espiritu. So, dito po ay uh, makikita natin ang description kung sino ang uh, ginabayan ng banal na Espiritu at sino ang tinatawag na anak ng Diyos. So, isa-isahin natin ang uh, mga bagay na ito. Pag-uusapan natin from... Uh, verses uh, 8 to uh, 16 kaya dito sabi niya hindi uh, sa inuutusan ko kayo uh, dito sa chapter na ito so, makikita kasi natin doon na may mga may mga instruction okay? may mga instruction na pwede nating i-consider dito sa ano regarding uh, sa pinag-uusapan natin kung sino ang ang uh, ginabayan ng banal na espiritu at sino ang tinatawag anak ng uh, ating Panginoon kaya gusto kong uh, basahin dito sa uh, sa wikang Tagalog at ang mga nabubuhay at ang mga Uh, nabubuhay ayon sa laman ay hindi maaaring kalugdan ng Diyos so yung sinasabing uh, ano, namumuhay sa laman ay uh, hindi yun ang kinalulugda ng ating Panginoong Diyos ngunit hindi na kayo namumuhay ayon sa laman kundi ayon sa Espiritu kung talagang nananahan sa inyo ang Espiritu ng Diyos. So, may mga comparison dito regarding sa flesh and the spirit. Pero, yun nga, uh, hindi, hindi doon uh, uh, na-describe na kung ang tao ay namumuhay sa laman ay nandoon ang banal na Espiritu. Kaya sabi niya, hindi na kayo namumuhay ayon sa laman, kundi ayon sa Espiritu. And then, kung talagang nananahan sa inyo ang Espiritu ng Diyos, kung ang Espiritu ni Kristo ay wala sa isang tao, hindi siya kay Kristo. Ngunit kung nasa inyo si Kristo, bagamat patay na ang inyong mga katawan dahil sa kasalanan, boy naman ang inyong Espiritu dahil sa uh, dahil uh, sa pinawalang sala na kayo. So, sa verse 11, kung nananahan sa inyong Espiritu ng Diyos na siyang muling bumuhay kay Heso Kristo ang Diyos ding yan ang magbibigay ng buhay sa inyong mga katawan at mamatay sa pamamagitan ng kanyang Espiritu nananahan sa inyo. So mga kapatid, 
Hindi na tayo alipin ng likas ng hilig ng laman, kaya hindi na tayo dapat mamuhay ayon sa laman. Sapagkat, mamamatay kayo kung namumuhay kayo sa laman, ngunit kung uh, pinapatay ninyo sa pamakita ng Espiritu Santo ang mga gawa ng laman, mabubuhay kayo. Ang lahat ng uh, pinapatnubayan ng Espiritu ng Diyos ay mga anak ng Diyos. Sapagkat hindi kayo tumanggap ng Espiritu na pag, ng pagkaalipin upang muling matakot. Ang tinanggap ninyo ay ang Espiritu ng pagiging anak at ito ang nagbibigay sa atin ng karaga, karangalan o karapatang tumawag ng Ama, Ama ko. Ang Espiritu nga ang nagpapatutuo sa at, sa Uh, sa nagpapatuo kasama ng ating espiritu na tayo ay mga anak ng Diyos. Sa puntong ito ay uh, nakikita natin kung paano uh, na, 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 na describe kung sino tayo, sino ang mga believers under uh, sa kapanahonan po natin ngayon. Ang tawag po ang, ang espiritu ay nanunahan po sa atin. Hindi po tayo namumuhay ayon sa laman, kundi ayon sa Espiritu ng Diyos. So kung ang, ang, ang Espiritu ay nasa atin, tayo po ay tinatawag na anak ng Diyos at may karapatan tayo na tawagin ang Ama, Ama ko. So ang, nag, ang, ang banal na Espiritu po ang siyang, uh, ang siyang basihan po at papaano po nagkaroon tayo ng uh, banal na Espiritu. Yun po ay sa pamagitan ng ating pananampalataya kay Kristo. At ano naman ang sinasabi sa Ephesians chapter 1, ito po ay nagpapatunay na ang banal na Espiritu ay nasa atin bilang tatak. Puntahan natin ang Epeso or Ephesians chapter number 1 verse uh, 13. Verse 13, In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth. The word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So, yun po ay uh, ang banal na Espiritu ay uh, nasa atin bilang tatak. At papaano nangyari yun? Sa pumagitan ng ating pananampalataya kay Kristo. So, ito po yung ating pinaniniwalaan, ang uh, finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, ang mga believers dito ngayon ay sealed or uh, ta may tatak. At ano yung tatak na yun? Ay spirit. So, ang mga believers sa time na yan, after the after the cross, ay mayroong tinatawag tatak. Sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise. At yun po ang tinatawag na ownership. Okay? Ownership. Mayroong nagmamayari na sa atin. Kaya ang mga believers dito ang ay tinatawag na body of Christ. Tinatawag na body of Christ. Dahil mayroong tinatawag na tatak na banal na espiritu. At nangyari po yan nung tayo ay naniwala. Ano ang ating pinaniniwalaan? Ang kanyang ginawa. According to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 to 4. So dahil sa ating paniniwala, ang banal na Espiritu ang siyang naging tatak. Masahin natin sa 1 Corinthians chapter 15 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 15 verses 1 to 4 Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you which also ye have received and wherein ye stand by which also ye are saved if ye keep in memory what I preach unto you unless ye have believed in vain For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. So nung tayo naniniwala dyan sa gospel na ito, 
that's when the death, burial, and resurrection, then we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise according to uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. So, ngayon, nung tayo na niwala, ay naging, uh, ay uh, tinatakan tayo ng banal na Espiritu, and then, ang tawag sa mga believers ay body of Christ. So, ang tawag sa atin, body of Christ, and Christ is the head, according to Colossians chapter 1, verse 18. So, tayo po ay tinatawag body of Christ. Christ is the head. Ngayon, ang mga ang uh, ginagabayan ng banal ng Espiritu ay ang mga believers dito po sa finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ are guided by the Holy Spirit. Lead by the Spirit. And you know what? In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, uh, 16 to 17, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Verse 17, If any man defile, defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. We are we are called the temple of God, the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit dwelleth in you. And in the condition here, if any man defile the temple of God, he, he shall, God shall uh, destroy. For the temple of God is holy. It's referring to the believers of Christ. The believers were called the body of Christ. The temple of God is holy. And which temple ye are? We are the temple of the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. And then another verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 to 20. Ito naman ay makikita natin the sign of ownership. We are God's property. We are God's possession. And the Spirit of God dwelleth in you, dwelleth in us. Verse 19, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Ye are not your own. Why? In verse 20, For ye are both with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirits, which are God's. We are, God, we are uh, God's uh, uh, possessions, God's property. And uh, that is why we we have the right, okay? Mayroon tayong right to call Him Lord. Ang salitang Lord ay galing sa word na uh, curious. It means ownership. So ang may karapatan na tumawag sa ating Diyos na Lord ay ang mga believers. Especially the body of Christ. And we are the body of Christ led by the Spirit. Ang banal na Espiritu ang siyang, uh, ang siyang nag-work within us. Kaya in, in uh, Galatians chapter 5, ay makikita natin doon yung fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, Peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. So, makikita natin doon ang work ng banal na espiritu, the fruit of the spirit. Dahil ang banal na espiritu ang naglib sa atin. Ngayon, puntahan natin itong mga verses na ito sa Romans chapter 8, 8 to 16. In Romans chapter uh, 6 to chapter 8, uh, it talks about the walk of a justified man. And who are the justified man referring to the, the believers or uh, the believers today under this present dispensation. And remember in chapter 5 verse 1, okay, Romans 5 1, Romans chapter 5 verse number 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God 
through our Lord Jesus Christ. We are justified by faith. And then we have peace with God. Also in Romans chapter 6 verse number 2, God forbid how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein. In chapter 6 verse number 12, Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should dwell it in the last drop. We are justified through faith, and we have peace with God. So there are three things to our walk. Walk in, first is walk in. Number two, walk after. Number three, and the walk that works. Mm. So the power to walk in, 2 Corinthians 5, 7. 2 Corinthians 5, number 7. Please uh, turn your Bible to 2 Corinthians chapter number 5. Uh, verse 7 for we walk by faith not by sight so the body of Christ are walking by faith not by sight by sight or works referring to the the old program under the time pass so dito kasi under the under under the time pass uh, under the law uh, time of uh, Israel Dito po ay they, 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 they were walking by by sight. Okay? Dito by faith. Ito naman by uh, walking by uh, what we call uh, sight. Okay? Walking by uh, sight. It's referring to uh, works. Okay? works not by sight but by faith okay so here walking by uh, sight hmm? dito naman by faith by sight and by by faith right in also in Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 and chapter 3 verse 7 Hmm. What is your life and strength? So a purpose you walk after in 1 Corinthians 12 2, Galatians 5 18, and Philippians 3 16, what cars to follow? So that's the, the question. It's regarding kasi purpose you walk after. Hmm. Yun po yung uh, pangalawa. Uh, basahin natin ang, for, ang, ang 1 Corinthians 12 2. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse number 2 Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto this dumb idols even as ye were led. Mm. We walk after. And also the performance of walking in Colossians 1.10, Ephesians 4.1, 1 Thessalonians 4.1 So what are the results? So what's the heart? The, the heart believes effect that the mind knows and what the body does. In uh, Romans 9 to 10, in the flesh, uh, described in Ephesians 4, 17 to 19, as dark uh, hearts, vain minds in Romans chapter 1, verse 21. And you are no longer in darkness, but light, according to Ephesians 5, 8. So, hindi na tayo belongs to the darkness, but we belongs to the light. Ephesians 5, verse 8. Chapter 5, verse number 8. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye lights in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Hmm. Also in 2 Corinthians 4, 4, uh, Philippians 2, 15. So you will uh, find out, you will see uh, the description of the believers. That uh, the believers today are walking 
not in the darkness but in the light referring to uh, uh, the believers today uh, following the, the Lord Jesus Christ or walking with Christ or walking in Christ so what you do can change who you are but who you are can change what you do you are either in the flesh or in the spirit in Adam or in Christ so mayroong dalawang ano dito ay comparison regarding the Adam and Christ and then the flesh and the spirit in 1 Corinthians 15 22 and then uh, verse 45 and we are not waiting or tarrying for the spirit according to John chapter 7 39 in John 14 16 Luke 24 49 Acts 1 4. Ito naman ang, ang nag describe kasi daw. We are not waiting or tarrying for the Spirit since uh, we have already the, the Holy Spirit after we believe the gospel of salvation. And the Spirit uh, dwells in us. We are sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise. And uh, here, he is none of his. When we make this about our works, we face condemnation. And then walk after the flesh, uh, our works walk after the spirit. Not after the flesh, but uh, walk after the spirit. Faith in God's work. Hmm. Faith in God's work. Then the body is dead. The flesh operates by its work, but it is now dead according to Romans chapter 6. 3 to 4. Another, another issues in chapter 8, Romans chapter 8, 11 to 13. Your mortal body can be raised to walk in new life. In Galatians chapter 2, 20. Galatians chapter 2, uh, verse 20. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. So we are crucified with Christ. We are dead with Christ. Crucified with Christ. Also in uh, in uh, Ephesians 4, 23 to 24. Okay, we walk in new new life okay the spirit works to seal to seal lead you in the truth and quicken you from the inside out mm. and debtors the flesh did nothing for us the spirit did everything for us and then they mortify the deeds reckon them dead crucify them they have been dealt with and what about the consequences of the past Philippians 3.13 so let's see the consequences uh, of the past Philippians 3.13 right 3.13 breast friend I count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind are, uh, and reaching forth unto those things which are before see referring to the the time okay the time passed Christ suffered another's sins in Romans chapter 8 14 to 16 led by the spirit Directed, guided, shown the course. How? By God's words. Okay, led of the Spirit. So, yun po yung description. How the Spirit, how the Spirit of God leads us. Di di directed, guided, shown the, the course on how by God's words. Okay, in, in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, is started to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 
So he leads us hmm, by the book, be inspired to reveal the gospel and change our minds. The scriptures. And we walk after the Spirit being led of the Spirit. We are the sons of God according to Galatians 3.26. Galatians chapter 3 verse 26. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. We are called the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. The Spirit's abundance uh, in in this uh, set of verses in Romans 8 14 to 16 the law which bound the law which bound curse struck fear in Galatians 2 verse 4 in uh, Galatians 4 9 to 10 in Galatians 5 1 the word Abba is not translated of or no it's term used by sons not children the word Abba Okay, uh, it is uh, actually used uh, by sons, not children, in Ma Mark 14.36. So, and then bears witness, not intuitions or God's feeling, it's, it is what he says and what we believe. And being led of the Spirit means we are not under the law. Okay, being led of the Spirit Meaning to say, not under the law. Hindi tayo under the law pag sinasabi po na guided or ginagabayan tayo ng banal na espiritu. Ibig sabihin, hindi tayo ilalim sa kautusan ni Moses. Hmm. According to Galatians 5.16 to 18. And then Romans chapter 8. Uh, describes that uh, it's not about getting you do more work but trust, uh, trusting the Spirit's works. See, in Romans chapter 8, talagang ano nun, uh, hindi ibig sabihin, you have to do more work but trusting. Trusting the Spirit's work. More on work of the Spirit here. Under this present time, our time, more on the work of the Spirit. We are uh, led by the Spirit. Ang nag-guide sa atin ay ang banal na Espiritu ng ating Panginoon na uh, natanggap po natin nung tayo'y naniniwala sa Ibanghelyo na ipinapangaral ni Apostol Pablo. Maraming salamat.